Good vibes only. Look on the positive side. You will have it so good compared to other people. Count your blessings. Can't we all just get along? Think good thoughts. What you put out to the universe, you will get back. You create your own reality. If you want it, it will come to you. The law of attraction. Do you hear these things now more than ever? Do a deeper dive into what's known as toxic positivity. I'm going to call it good vibes only. And th how this is really, really toxic and really harmful, particularly to people who have trauma and abuse. This really resonates for people who um, had abusive parents, particularly narcissistic parents, because again, there's this idea, well, they're your parents for good, for better, or worse, they love you, they always have good intentions. That's a fallacy, unfortunately. I wish that were true, but it really is a fallacy that all parents have good intentions or all people in general have good intentions, because a lot of people do not. They have trauma, they have their own stuff, it's not an excuse. It is a explanation. We can look at patterns of behavior, but ultimately people choose how they treat others. Short of any kind of extreme mental illness where people don't have control over their actions, but anybody who is functioning in society, walking around, doing their thing, they have choices with how they can behave or not behave. And to just make excuses is not helpful to anyone. It invalidates the victims, it invalidates the survivors, it invalidates anyone who has been abused, particularly if it is verbal, psychological, financial, institutionalized. There are so many forms of abuse. And as I always say, if you feel like you're being abused, you probably are. We have to do better. The positive vibes only, the good vibes only, it is a cop-out. It is an absolute cop-out. It makes me angry, to be perfectly honest, because people are not being helped. Even, I've heard even people, some clients who've been to other therapists, and the therapists want them to think positively. The therapists just want them to, oh, you know, it's in the past, go on and just let's make the best of the future. Of course, that's something we do later after we process the trauma. We can't skip the steps. We have to process the trauma. We have to go through it. It is not about dwelling in the past. It is not even about being negative. It is being real. It is going through. We need to go through validating that experience, taking information away from it and using it to make our lives better because we are gonna make our lives better, but it will be organic. It'll be an organic process that's not forced on us before we're ready. If it's forced on us before we're ready, what happens is we can either withdraw into ourselves, internalize everything, think it's our problem only. It's very isolating, very lonely. A lot of people will turn to self-medicating or other types of behaviors to fill that void, whether it's online shopping, overspending, drinking, whatever that is to get that dopamine hit, to get some kind of a rush or even just to feel better, to soothe. That's why we call it self-soothing. There's a good way of self-soothing where we do self-talk and we do the work and we use certain language to reframe things but also acknowledge when we need to feel what we need to feel. Emotions are like clouds, they pass. They pass, allow them to pass, go through them and let them pass. We can't avoid the rainstorm, we can't avoid the snow, we can't avoid the thunder, we can't avoid the lightning, but it always passes. We get through it. We might get a bit wet, but we get through it to the other side. There are no shortcuts. And anybody who is trying to gaslight you, because that's what that is, when people are saying, good vibes only, don't be so negative, don't, you know, let's just be positive. Oh, look, see, you're being negative again. What do you expect? This is all a form of gaslighting. It is very invalidating, and it is very important to acknowledge this and remove yourself, remove yourself from those people if you can or at least have a little contact with them. Put a bit of a shield around them. Know that they don't get it. They don't know what they're talking about. You listen to your own truth. You listen to your own reality. 
we need to go through stuff we need to feel life is that is what life is about it's about allowing vulnerability it's about allowing whatever emotions emotions are not good or bad they just are there they help us they give us insight into what's happening if we start ignoring our emotions we're cutting off a very important part of ourselves and so let's pay attention let's use compassion let's use our tools Again, big disclaimer here, I'm not offering therapy, so if you are hurting, if you are in a bad way, or even if you just want to figure out stuff, go see an accredited therapist, go, someone, go see a therapist who has a trauma background, ideally has a narcissistic abuse framework, attachment-based is also very important, their um, believes in a, um, a therapeutic relationship, definitely relational. Relational is very important to be understood. You want to be seen, you want to be heard, you want to be understood. That is how we're validated. Not by good vibes only. Don't listen to it. It's nonsense. It's garbage. Don't even listen to that. And you, you, you own your own reality and your own truth. You are allowed to feel how you need to feel. The beauty of it is that when we do explore it, we get over it, we go through it, but it's an organic process. If we keep ourselves from it and ignore it, that's when it festers, that's when it gets worse and comes out in inappropriate race ways. So do the work, get therapy if you need it, get support, and let's just get that out of our language. No good vibes only. It is, the, it is tyranny, it is a tyranny of thought, is a tyranny of emotional gatekeeping. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.